So welcome to your first independent practice video. This is Mr. O'Sullivan. We're going to be looking at 11-4, which is just the volume of a prism. The first thing we're going to do on this page, I'm not going through each question. I'm not going to solve the question. We're just going to help with the startup. Please know what I would do. Write this down immediately somewhere. Maybe get a tattoo. Is volume equals big B, little h. Okay. And we're going to write down that that B depends on your shape. Okay, it depends on your shape. It could be a triangle, it could be a rectangle, it could be a trapezoid, it could even be an octagon. Who knows? So make sure you have that V equals BH written. So in question number one, it says find the volume of a right triangular prism whose legs are 8 and 6 and is two miles tall. So we're saying that the prism is two miles tall. So remember, we know V equals BH. We know that right triangles have an area of base times height over two. So we know our volume is going to be volume equals BH over two times our height. I'm giving you a heads up, this two is your height. All right. Now with number two, it says the volume of a pentagonal prism is 550 yards cubed and it's five yards tall. What we wanna do is we wanna find the area of the base. So if you go back to the video lesson, this is just like our final example. Volume equals BH, we just do some substitutions. 550 goes here, the five goes here, and we solve for our B. And then number three, it says find the volume in the prism is a rectangular solids whose dimensions are two by 8.5 by 1.6. Everything's in feet, so it's nice and simple. We know we're dealing with a rectangle. We know volume equals BH. And we know the area of a rectangle is base times height or length times width, whichever you prefer. So I know I can do Volume equals base times height times my height. I think you can answer the video lesson now, the independent practice. If you have any questions, email myself or Miss Kimmick.